One of the most requested videos you all have been asking for is for me to do a review of my Rome Adventure Company Rambler Hardshell Tent. And I've been stalling for a little while because I wanted to use it for a few months before I talked about it. And today, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a close up look of my Hardshell rooftop tent. Stay tuned. Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and four months ago I installed this Rome Adventure Company Rambler Hardshell Rooftop Tent on my Jeep, and I haven't taken it off since. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the ins and outs of this rooftop tent, just take a close-up look of it. I'm gonna talk about some of my personal pros and cons about using a hardshell rooftop tent, and this was their prototype tent, which they've made some changes on, a few recommendations that I gave them, and we'll talk about those here in the video as well. I think there's gonna be a a lot of interesting stuff you're gonna like about this tent. Let's take a look. Now some of you may recall that I had a budget rooftop tent up here a while ago, one of those ones that folded out. And I did a video review of that and at the end of the video I talked about wanting a tent with much better quality and possibly a hard shell. And so when the opportunity came along to use this tent, boy I jumped on it because this is exactly what I was looking for. Now let's take a look at the external dimensions of this and some of the features and then we'll open it up. The tent is 81 inches in length, 48 inches wide, and it's 11 inches tall, which is very low profile compared to many tents out there. And just for the record, no, I can no longer park my Jeep in the garage with the tent up there, but that's because my Jeep's on 4.5 inches of lift and 37 inch tires. This is much more aerodynamic than that previous brick of a tent I had up there, and there really is no noticeable wind noise. The tent weighs 165 pounds, which is a slight increase over my last tent. And while I have noticed the extra weight and would prefer a lighter tent, it's worth the compromise for the quality of this tent. The exterior shell is a black gel coat like you would find on boat holes. However, Rome wasn't thrilled with the finish in this prototype, so they are switching to an automotive painted shell in future models. The shell is made from hand-laid fiberglass layers, which are sandwiched between a quarter-inch thick piece of high-density foam, making it very strong and relatively lightweight. I am able to keep all my sleeping bags, pillows, blankets all stored inside, and it closes up with no problems. The upper and lower parts of the hard shell are kept together with some stainless steel hardware. There's two latches in the front and two latches in the back. And then on the sides, there are secondary ratchet straps, which just give you peace of mind and make sure this thing is gonna be nice and secured when you're going down the freeway. Now the Rambler comes with a standard rail mounting system that you would find on just about any rooftop tent. But the challenge for me is I have the Rhino Rack platform system, which has got these really fat slats on there that go all the way front to back. And that made it challenging to fit the rails of the roof rack in between those slats. So what I ended up doing was just drilling holes and mounting it directly to those slats. And you know what? It's held up really well. We've had this on some really difficult trails. It's been rocking and rolling. It's been holding up just great. Now, if you have just just a standard you know roof rail that goes over there you'll have no problems mounting this also I want to mention on the outside of the tent you'll see that there's two of these little hooks on each side and that's for the ladder and I'll show you the ladder here in a little bit but for me because of this roof rack it gets in the way of the ladder getting to those and so that was something I kind of had to figure out and thankfully there's some little grooves up here and the ladder just mounts right up there no problems okay what do you say uh, we open this guy up? One of my favorite things about having a hard shell tent is there is no cover that you have to take on and off. And sometimes those covers when you're out on the trail can get really dusty or muddy and then just get all over the place. And it's really a mess. This thing is so simple and clean. Plus opening and closing it is super fast. There are two latches front and rear and then some ratchet straps on each side. I think I can do this under 90 seconds, but let's time this. Ready? Here we go. Once you release the latches and the ratchet straps, you just give a good push to the front and rear of the tent shell and the gas struts do most of the work lifting it up so easy. Oh, look at that. 54 seconds. That's under a minute, that's pretty awesome. It's amazing how quick that goes up and that's with the ladder. All right, let's take a look inside the tent. 
climbing in the tent is very easy and can be accessed from all four sides as there are large screen doors on each side, which is really a nice feature. Now I'm six foot two and my son who was with me on a recent trip is six foot four and we both slept comfortably for a couple nights in the Rambler, but it was admittedly a bit cozy for the two of us. We did rub up against the internal hinges a couple times throughout the night, but Rome is adding a heavy black ripstop poly cotton material to these, which will be a nice added padded feature. When it's just me solo in the tent, there is a ton of room, both lengthwise and widthwise. And this tent is taller than most by about six to eight inches. It's actually 42 inches tall. You can see here, I can sit up on my knees. I've got a ton of headroom. It's really great for a tall guy like me. The tent has a three inch mattress, which I will say is extremely comfortable. And if you're a side sleeper, you'll have no problems in this tent. And there is also an anti-condensation barrier, which is a nice feature. But I will add that the many nights that we've slept in this, I haven't had any condensation buildup inside the tent. The roof is padded, which adds a little insulation on those cold nights. There is a little net attic, which is great for storing stuff. And there's a few pockets on the side for your phones or keys or wallets or whatever. The tent walls are made of 280 ripstop poly cotton that has been coated to be waterproof, mold resistant, and UV protected. The zippers are sturdy and I'll say they're relatively quiet. All in all, it's a nice place to sleep, change your clothes, or just hang out if you encounter some foul weather. Now let's talk about how the Rambler is held up in the weather. Now, admittedly, I'm in Southern California where it's 76 and sunny most days of the year, but we have had it in a couple of weather conditions. Specifically, out in the desert, we get some high winds. And for being as tall as it is, you think it would sway a little bit, but I've slept in there when it was 30 plus mile an hour winds and no problems at all. That thing is rock solid in the wind. The only thing I'll mention is there are some strap handles on the front and the rear that help you close it. You may want to secure those, otherwise they will flap around a little bit. Now, being out in the rain, we've only had it a couple times out in the rain and I haven't had any leaks. The fabric holds up well. There's all good seams. The only thing I'll say I miss is, you know, some of the fold-out tents come where they have that little bit of overhang over the ladder. So when you're getting in and out of your tent, you're staying nice and dry. You don't get that with this one. Uh, these little overhangs on the windows, usually those are closed in some, you know, weather like rain and snow and that kind of stuff. Uh, I will say we have not had it in any snow, uh, but I'm sure we will here in the next winter. Uh, also inside sleeping, we haven't had any condensation issues. You know, my son and I have slept in there, no issues. It ventilates really well. But what I really love most is on a day like this, on a night like it's gonna be, you can open it up with those large windows and just get some good cross ventilation. One thing I wish the Rambler came with, and that was a shoe bag, but it really just isn't designed to have one on the outside because it kind of sits in so far narrow and there's not a place to hook it up on the outside. My other tent had that, and it just allows you to put your shoes somewhere, keep them dry before you hop in the tent. Normally what I do now is I just stuff them up underneath the tent. It works okay. Uh, what I will say is I love the ladder. Now, if you saw my review of my old budget rooftop tent, I was so displeased with that ladder. This thing is rock solid solid and being telescopic it opens and closes super easy it's super lightweight easy to store they did a great job with the ladder all right now i said i was going to talk about some of the pros and cons of using a hard shell rooftop tent like this versus the fold out soft shell tent we'll call them soft shell uh, what I do really miss about my fold-out tent is the room. You know, for me on long trips, if it's just me solo, it's fine up there. I have no problems. It's perfect. It's comfortable. But if it's my son and I or my wife and I, it gets a little cozy. Also, a soft shell tent will give you a couple more features that this one doesn't. You get that overhang, kind of the awning with uh, the fold-out. Plus, you get a zippable annex option sometimes where you can have kind of a little room on the side. Those are nice features that you're not going to get with the hard shell. Now, what I really like about the hard shell is it just looks good when it's all closed up. It's much more streamlined than a big brick on the top of your Jeep. It looks really nice. Aesthetics do matter a little bit, but come on, opening and closing this thing, man, that makes having this thing super nice. I mean, when I'm at camp and I've just had a long day driving just to throw it up and be done with it, no problems. In the morning, if you're trying to bug out quickly, you can close this thing up super fast. Let me show you. I'm not gonna time it this time, but let me show you. 
taking all the poles off the awning is actually the most time consuming part of closing up the tent. And it's really the reason I don't use them that often. Most of the time I'll just roll up the awnings. It works really well. There is a bag that's supplied for the poles and it keeps things organized. The ladder closes up very quickly and there is a bag for the ladder so you don't get those dirty ladder feet inside the tent. Now what I have found in closing up the tent is I do the front part first and then I go around and I pull the rear down. That just works best for me. And then you have to spend a little bit of time just kind of tucking in all the fabric and making sure everything's good before you strap it down. It's really just an easy day. So it does take just a little bit longer than 54 seconds to close it all up. And that is if you're gonna have all those window awnings open, which I don't normally do unless it's a really hot night. But you can see it closes up really nice and sleek. And I'm clean, I'm not dirty from some dusty cover, which is really nice. Hey, I will leave a link down below to the Rome Adventure Company if you want to go check out this tent or some of the other tents and products they have. They got some great stuff over there. A big thanks to them for entrusting me with this prototype tent. I have enjoyed using it and I look forward to going out and camping some more with it. If you're visiting Trail Recon for the first time, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. Thanks for watching.